A big thank you to Squarespace for being today's sponsor and for helping me build my new website, but more on that later. I guess this is it then. The last time I'll ever be here, the last time I'll ever see these walls, stand on this floor. Some great memories were created here, as well as some not so great ones, but probably like 94% great. I would say that's pretty damn good. So what is a proper goodbye? I don't know. I'm grateful. Thanks. See ya. Except I won't see ya. I guess just goodbye then. Have you ever thought about how many people, things, and places you've said goodbye to in your lifetime? Whether through a hug, a plane, or a toss in the trash? I think there's always a little pain in goodbyes, even if that pain is sometimes accompanied with relief and or excitement. I remember moving back to Sweden after having lived in the US for two years. I was on the beach on the last day and it was really windy. I was just walking around, sitting in the sand, observing. I guess I thought that I would get a proper goodbye by just absorbing the present moment with all my senses one last time. And I guess I did, because I look back on that one hour of my life with warmth. I also think about the time I had to say goodbye to my small apartment when I was away at university. I never liked that town really and I couldn't wait to get back to the city. Yet say goodbye wasn't as easy as I had anticipated. After all, it had been my first time living alone and my very first step towards becoming a strong, independent woman. You know, just because we no longer want something or it no longer serves us, it doesn't mean that we should forget that there was once a time when that very thing might have been the only thing that we wanted. You know, prior to getting that apartment, I remember stressing and worrying and going to bed every night hoping that in the morning I would get the call that would say the apartment is all yours. And we tend to forget these things once we no longer have any use of something or of someone. See, we're so good at being humble and show respect and appreciation when we want or need something or someone. We do whatever it takes. We're patient, we're kind, but when it's time to move on, we often don't show anywhere near the same amount of consideration. Now, goodbye doesn't always mean that it's the last time. Technically, it isn't always. I could always return to the city where I went to uni, and I sure can return to the beach in California. But it's the last time of the way that things are right there and then. And now I don't think that everyone needs or cares for proper goodbyes. You know, however you choose to define it. We're all different and some people even avoid them at all costs. You know, perhaps they hope or even expect that the things or people that they want to distance themselves from will just fade into the background and disappear. And now a goodbye does not mean that you are hanging on to something. A goodbye is not about difficulty letting go or negating change. It's about parting ways with gratitude and peace and grace. But as we know, not all goodbyes bring that. There are a million things that prevent us from getting the goodbye that we might have wished or hoped for. You know, sometimes things just end, people leave or they don't show up, places close and things burn down. But sometimes what gets in the way is our own ego. You know, we might let a thousand words be left unsaid and a thousand deeds left undone. It's interesting how when we watch movies or read books, we are often rather forgiving and patient with slow or even bad beginnings. But if the ending is bad, well, then the whole movie just sucked. We sometimes even say it was a waste of time, even if the rest of the movie was good. Because a bad ending just ruins the entire experience and the memory that we have of it. It's human nature. We want stories to end well. Yet, when it comes to the most important story of all, the one of our lives, we seem to don't really realize how important a good ending can be. 
And there's this psychological phenomenon called the peak end rule. It was created by Daniel Kahneman. You should really read his book, Thinking Fast and Slow. It is one of the greatest books that I have read. I will leave a link for it in the description box if you want to check it out. But so in a nutshell, the peak end rule is about how we form memories from our experiences and that the way that we remember experiences is through the highs and the lows, aka what we are feeling at the most intense peaks as well as at the end point. So it seems that our memories aren't really an average of the experience as a whole, but rather it is the ending, you know, how we part that has the most powerful effect on how an experience will be recalled. So perhaps we should rethink our goodbyes. But how do we properly say goodbye? What does it even mean? I think when we part, whether that is with a friend, a partner, a move or a new job, perhaps we should really ask people more often, what type of goodbye would you like? And perhaps we should ask ourselves that question too, ego and all other filters aside, at my very core, how do I wish to part from this situation or this person? Are there some things I need to say? Are there some things I need to do? Or do I just need to sit here in the sand for a few moments and not say or do anything at all? And now before you and I part, let's make sure that this video has a good ending. Let's talk about today's sponsor, Squarespace. Whether you are a blogger or artist or entrepreneur, or if you want to start a newsletter or have a portfolio, with Squarespace, you can build a website that suits you. And it's really easy. You just pick one of their beautiful and professional templates and customize it according to your needs. So I launched my website a few months back and I've kept mine pretty minimalistic, but you can find my book recommendations on there, my camera gear, my social media is connected, and some more fun stuff. You know, I'm still playing around with it and adding things sometimes. What's also really great is that I can get insights on the traffic on my website so I can keep close track of what's happening there. To try it out for yourself, head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you are ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Lana Blakely to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. And I will of course leave the link for that in the description box as well. And that was all for today's video. Please share the thoughts that you have on goodbyes. Do you care for them? Do you not? And what is a proper goodbye to you? Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the comment section.